Oh, uh, you know, we're all here and uh, we need to enjoy everything you get out of every day. Do the most you can, be the most competitive, be the most caring, have more feeling every single day because you don't ever know what's coming around. But that is so sad and to have a 13-year-old daughter on there just makes it, and I'm not saying Kobe deserved it either, but just you think about it, there's no way that family uh, there's no way that family can ever get over this. I had one of my best friends lose a grandson to cancer, a five-year-old, uh, a year and a half ago, to almost two years ago. You can't get, ever get over that. So, number one, he was a great, great player. Great, great player. One of the toughest competitors. Michael told me one time he really liked the way he played, okay? Uh, but I just think about the family. It's that's so hard to, what do you say, what do you do? what next step do you take? And so I just say they're in my thoughts and prayers and uh, it makes the game of basketball awfully, awfully small. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I'll lock the place. Thinking about kind of Kobe when you were injured, it seems pretty Kobe-esque, especially get injured. Think of the Achilles game with the free throws you had at the end. Was yeah. that going through your mind or not, you were locked in? I mean, I, it wasn't really going through my mind until Leaky and Garrison kept saying mama mentality to me. That's all they kept saying to me when I was walking. And Armando, because he about to get mad because I ain't mention him. But they just kept saying, man, Kobe wouldn't come out of the game. Keep playing, bro. So that just kept me stay focused and not really think about it. For me personally, I think I took it hardest than, harder than anybody on this team because, like I said, Kobe Bryant's my favorite player. Kobe Bryant's my idol. I mean, every day after practice, I, I get up shots after practice, and when I heard that news, I was devastated. It was like I couldn't, I couldn't even touch a basketball, or look at basketball the whole day because I was getting sad because Kobe Bryant's the person who made me fall in love with the game. Like. My dad introduced me to basketball and showed me Kobe Bryant, and that made me fall in love with the game. So it, it hurt me a lot. What does that moment sort of teach you? I think our main problem was we had stretches where we were really good. Uh, uh, and I imagine we were still high in basketball together. Yeah, that's the first thing. Yeah, it's a. Honestly, for me, that it's the first person that I've watched grow, grow up, die in that that tragedy, in a, such a tragedy like that. So it just made me think about just life. Period. Just how you can't take any moment for granted, and just just playing basketball, man. Enjoy it because and, and just work hard at everything, so you don't have no regrets when, when it's your time to go. And I think that's the thing, big thing about Kobe. He worked hard at everything that he did, so he didn't have any regrets in life, and he enjoyed the game and he worked hard at. It. So that's my mentality going forward. I'm gonna just enjoy this game and just work hard and never take any moment for granted and uh, cherish every moment and just cherish the people around you. I mean, it was just definitely sad just for somebody that iconic, just the way he passed and also his daughter and the other people too. Uh, we learned about it during practice. It was just like, it changed our whole move, but uh, prayers out to him and his family.